I'm Jazz. Welcome back to Making and Shaken, the show where we make food out of cocktail ingredients. Today, we're going to be making America's favorite food, pizza. I got this recipe from Brian Lagerstrom, his weeknight pizza dough recipe. He uses beer in his. So I thought, what's like beer? Tapache. I thought it would be really interesting to do a pineapple pizza kind of just really to like upset everyone involved. I do have some tapache ready to just like explode. The idea behind this recipe that I thought was super genius was you're mimicking the flavor of a dough that's been fermenting by adding a fermented beverage like beer. So it's gonna give it that like yeastiness. Woo! Hey, it's fizzy. It is fizzy. We gotta get this beer to body temp. Slightly overshot it, but that's okay. We're at 107 degrees. While that's cooling, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. All purpose flour. Like that. Eight grams of sugar. One big pinch of salt. That's active dry yeast. That's what that looks like. Olive oil. I'm gonna send that in. We need 210 grams of tapache. We got a nice little dough baby. And we're just gonna knead this. Look at that. I mean, that's pizza dough. Can I'm I gonna... pinch a little piece off and try it? The dough yeah. by itself? It's weird. What is it weird? I'm just sampling. Just portion this. And we're just gonna form these into little dough balls like so. And we're gonna cover our little baby dough babies, baby dough babies, and let them rest, let the gluten kind of Take a chill pill. We're gonna make some really quick sauce. Pizza sauce. Pan of diced or crushed tomatoes. Garlic powder. This is Italian seasoning. <laughs> Marjoram, thyme, basil, rosemary, and oregano. Italian seasoning it is. I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper for a little spice. Ooh, that was... Also some Aleppo pepper. A bit of onion powder. MSG. Pizza sauce always needs a little bit of sweetness to balance the like salty, umami, tinny, Canned tomato. I learned this from a pizza place that I used to work at, but just a little bit of grape jelly. So there's no cooking necessary for the for the sauce. We're just gonna use the stick blender. Never heard it make that sound before. Uh, blender's broken, so whatever. I'm gonna add olive oil to this, pepper, a good pinch of salt. Can you tell I'm annoyed? The dough is a very wet dough, very sticky. Forgot to like grease up my hands or put a bunch of flour on it. So I had a really fun time. Hi. We're still preheating our oven and we're gonna preheat it to 550. And there's also a pizza stone that has been in there. Here is one of our doughs. So I'm just gonna kind of flop it over. This one I'm not so sure about. It's super wet. It's super sketchy. I need it to. I need it to squiggle. Come on. This is going terribly. Look at this. This is absolutely a nightmare. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. To be honest, I I'm just. I like that. It's I'm, like a pie. I'm not really like even making these decisions. My body's moving. This is just like what's happening. I'm just along for the ride. This was the other one. I'm gonna put like an obscene amount of flour down. This has to work. Like my mental health depends on it. Yeah, I'm a big sauce guy. I like a lot of sauce, but it is important to show restraint. You don't want a soggy pizza. Just gonna do some low moisture mats. Again, restraint. All right. And then we're gonna add some pineapple. So that was the whole idea here, right? Pineapple and pizza is good. Fact. Full stop. Pork and fruit kind of just like work. A bit of sweetness to kind of balance the salty and fatty and the acidity in the pineapple. I mean, it makes sense from a flavor standpoint. Look at that. The last little touch is, I'm just, I'm not gonna go crazy here, but I'm just gonna do a little dusting of parm. I like to pull the pizza stone out of the oven 
a little less stressful than like trying to put the pizza like into the oven. This is still like super stressful, insanely stressful actually. It's okay. No, that's the pizza. That'll be ready in like 10 minutes. Uh, let's just pretend like the, the whole pizza is there. Wow, what a beautiful whole pizza. That, that was like putting me through a lot of emotional distress, but here it is. It's not too bad. I mean, there's a section missing. This looks like a good slice right here, huh? Let's just, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. You see the crust on the bottom? It holds. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty happy with this, actually. The dough is a little more, um, it, it's kind of overworked, so it's, it's not as chewy as it is, like, crackery. A little dense. I don't hate it though. Pretty good. Is it worth the trouble? I mean, it's it's pizza. All right, let's go make the other one. Okay. Well, we did make pizza. Tapache crust pizza. Here's the tapache. For the tapache crust pizza. Here's the pizza. We did it. It might not be the best pizza in the world, but it is a pizza. This has been making and shaking. We tried. Holly, did you have anything to add?